According to the Center for Disease Control, Centers for Disease Control, 50 million adults have arthritis here in the U.S. That's an awful lot. And today, this young lady used to be one of those people, and I say used to because Barbara Allen, the author of Conquering Arthritis, is going to tell us how she beat it and overcome it. Barbara, good morning. It's good to see you again. Welcome back. Morning, Matt. Okay, you were 20, you're 51 now. You're 25 years old, healthy, active young lady. You yes. got arthritis. Yes. So um, I went almost overnight from being healthy, active, and suddenly if I tried to take more than a couple steps, mm -hmm. I would pass out from the pain. And oh if I gosh. tried to use my hands, it was just excruciating. It was hard to turn doorknobs. It was almost impossible to hold a pen. So it wasn't just localized to one part of no. your body. It was everywhere. It was also in my spine. It was very difficult to sleep. And for a couple of years, you actually had to be in a wheelchair because you couldn't move that much. Right. Okay. So yeah. what did you do to beat arthritis? So these are the three things you absolutely must do if you want to heal from arthritis. Okay. So I'd like you to help me out here. Sure. Can you can you hold these? I uh, definitely can, just like Great. this. So D, these are the ABCs, but it's a little more advanced than ABC. It's D, E, F. So okay. D is heal your digestive system. Gotcha. Every, every client I've ever worked with has had leaky gut syndrome, so they've had to heal their digestive system. Okay. E. Then exercise, absolutely critical. Even a healthy person, if they keep their joints too still, are mm -hmm. going to develop the same pathological changes in rheumatoid arthritis. So range of motion, okay. strength, even if you're too weak to get out of a wheelchair, you can do isotonic exercises by pushing against yourself. You're just talking about doing anything here. You don't have to go to the gym and lift 50 pounds no, necessarily. Just keep your body moving. You have to keep your muscles strong to protect uh -huh. your joints. And then aerobic exercise. I know it's hard if you're still in a wheelchair, but anything you can do to get your heart rate up okay. is going to help heal your arthritis. And then finally? And then F? finally, F is for food, and this is healthy food. So when you heal your digestive system, one of the things you have to do is eliminate all your hidden triggers of your arthritis. So that's okay. calling off the war. First, you call off the war, then you add in all the supplies to rebuild your body. Okay. So Everybody's got hidden triggers if you've got arthritis. You have to identify those. You can go on my website, conqueringarthritis.com, for a free tip sheet on how okay. to identify those. Then you need to eat a really healthy diet. So lots of fruits and vegetables, a uh -huh. little bit of protein, a little bit of whole grains. Gotcha. Get yourself those antioxidants. And you did this all with, without medication, I take it? Right. Or did you use in, medication In too? my case, my medication was triggering my arthritis because one of my hidden triggers was corn. Okay. And corn starch was added to every single one of my prescription medicines. So I got wow. sicker when I took them. That's not true for everyone. It but I had to do this totally without you. medicine. And you're great today. You're 51 years old. You yeah. ride a bike. You're active. Again, a couple, well, for a couple years you were in a wheelchair and now you can do this. Did you yeah. ever think you'd be able to do this again? No. Um, well, I always hoped that I would, mm -hmm. but now it's just fantastic because I have traded that wheelchair in for my new favorite set of wheels, my bicycle. There you this go. <laughs> it is Barbara, or she is Barbara Allen. Her book is called Conquering Arthritis. She has done it completely natural. If you or someone you know is fighting with it, head to our website, casa.com. You can find out more about Barbara, more about her website and her book, and so much more. You're going to be talking with Chad Brummett coming up as well, right? Uh, yes. Okay. Yes. And speaking.